Okay, this is a tutorial on how to use PokeSave with action replay codes. Let's get started. Make this one a Pokemon only. So then we'll start off with any Pokemon. We'll go with Gastrodon. I guess you could give him any hailed item. For now, we'll give him the splash plate. You can put your own trainer ID and whatever your secret ID, whatever you want to make that. We'll make this a level 25. We'll leave everything else the same, except for this, or else it won't work. Put this up. Great ball. And you can give whatever ability, but don't people want to battle you with that Gastrodon and you have its ability different? Don't do it. <laughs> so we'll just give it any random ability. Put the language at English. Put the original name. And we'll name the original trainer. You can give whatever moves, individual values, effort values, and its current stats. It's contest, or whatever, Shellos and Gastrodon form. It's Ribbon's Fateful Encounter. Stat edit, just max it so it looks okay. Not hacked. Name. We'll name our guy. What we named him. Lucas. We'll name this guy. Wally. So you everything done. Party members amount one. And then you export as ARDS code and save it as 512 kilobytes or else it won't work. So we did money, no, score. I think we did score, no, we did name, rival's name, Pokemon 1, and party member amount. And you save the file. We'll name it as test or tutorial. We'll name it as tutorial. Okay. It'll be an XML document, which means if you have Firefox. Ordinary Explorer, it'll work. Though it'll open with only Internet Explorer since it runs on XML, so. Alright, I will be right back once the Internet Explorer site opens. Okay, welcome back. Uh, we have opened the tutorial.xml document which is saved on your desktop or wherever you want to put it you can upload the site also so we have Pokemon Diamond and a game ID for your action replay and the code goes along with it and if I have it for Pokemon Pearl all you gotta do is open your action replay max manager copy that code onto your codes for the game and it should load and you go into your game, save it, and then press L and R. And make sure you don't have a Pokemon in the first slot, since it'll be in the first slot. And it's, you can, if you want, just have one Pokemon that you don't want. That's what I do. And it'll override it with that Gastrodon or whatever Pokemon you made in PokeSave. So this has been a PokeSave tutorial. And...